everyone, Marco LeVette here. Wow, back with another powerful woman. Oh yeah, you know, Will Mail Magazine is honoring 25 powerful women and you'll have to be sure to go over to their page on LinkedIn because uh, they have a little something, something, a little surprise for these women. And there's a article there to help you better understand who these women are, but I'm here with one of them, Charlotte Terrell, who is a transformational life coach, author of three books. Welcome, Charlotte Terrell. Thank you. Thank you, Margo. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Good to at least hear you. <laughs> yes. Good to, and good to be seen. And good to be seen and not viewed. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. That takes me into images motivational consultant agency that is that's your baby that's what you do and right now you are giving to women you are servicing women entrepreneurs the yes. uh the professional woman whose work-life balance is off yes and i want to dive in right there because man when we think about what has been thrust upon women professional mm -hmm. and entrepreneurs we, 2 million women have been removed from the work space last year because of COVID. Mm -hmm. All of these pressures, all of these opportunities for imbalance. Right. How do you address that, Charlotte? I, I, you know, you just have to be real, first of all, and understand that life happens and we all have been thrown you know, a monkey wrench in the game, but we still have to persevere and move on because we can't stop. You know, I remember one time I, I was, myself was crying. I was teaching at the time and going to grad school. And I started crying because I had a little sniffle and I was like, I can't afford to be sick. <laughs> and so many of us are just like, we can't afford to be sick. We got to take the dog to the vet. We got to take our son to daycare, the daughter to dance. But just understand with the work-life balance, I approach it this way. You prioritize and you do the best you can. You provide excellence to the best of your ability, but always be mindful that you may not be able to do it all. And it's okay. Sometimes you might have to delegate. Girl, can you please take my daughter to dance? I can't do it right now. Or, you know, um, call and postpone, move things around on the calendar, um, just making sure that you are mindful that people talk about, you know, having all the balls and juggling mm -hmm. them and having that balance. You're going to drop a ball. It's going to happen, but it's okay. You're a human being. You cannot do it all and you do the best you can to the best of your ability. And I think it's also key that you're communicating these things, you know, mm -hmm. Tell, tell the teacher, you know, I understand that um, my daughter needs to be there at seven. I don't get off work until 630. So she may be 10 minutes late. Is that okay? Or, you know, just different things that you can do, but communicating with others all along. I'm trying to do this, but I cannot do that. Mm -hmm. And just letting people know. And then being the power of no is also important. Yes, you can't do it all. Sometimes you just have to say no respectfully mm -hmm. and diplomatically. I'm going to have to decline. I won't be able to do that at this time. Check back with me in a few months. Somebody even told me on LinkedIn one time, check back with me in the spring. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm caught under deadlines right now. So I'm right there, do. Charlotte. I'm, yeah. I'm right there. And I'm so glad that you said, spoke on the power of no. Because working in collaboration with Womel is a dream come true. And I have had to say no to, uh, can we even have a conference call about something that is not urgent right now? Mm -hmm. Something so that I can stay focused. And I hear you speak of the work-life balance, saying no, delegating, asking for help. All this yes. comes from, I think, and tell me wh whether I'm right or wrong, it comes from owning the decision that you have to make, that you're fa faced with, or the situation that you're faced with, Absolutely. own it, and then assess how you can navigate through that and be all right with that. Is yes. that what I hear you say? Absolutely. Absolutely. 
because it's just, you know, we're human beings and I know that it's not grammatically correct to say that, but human beings don't do, you're not a human being. I mean, a human doing, you're a human being. Human beings just be. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, if you're a believer and I'm a believer in the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ, yes. that you, you ask God to help you. You ask God to help you to navigate through these things and to be fair and to be respectful and to be diplomatic and do what you're supposed to do. And sometimes, you know, he'll tell us no mm -hmm. and he'll tell us not now. So we'll think we'll be moving along and we're busy doing this and busy doing that. And he's saying, no, not right now. You need to be focusing on this right now. Yeah. So yeah, yeah that's absolutely what I'm saying, Margo. Very well put. Well, what you are bringing to women, uh, professionals in particular, this thing of corporate America, the word, I don't like the word grind when it comes to me being an entrepreneur. I think the word grind applies to working in, in corporate America. Yes. And when you are on yes. that grind, even though you're probably working at home now and uh, you're still grinding. So can you address what a woman in corporate, I don't care if you are in the C-suite, if you are the, the receptionist, and you are fielding all these calls. I don't care if you are in customer service and you have a million angry or sometimes okay customers mm -hmm. in your ear. How do we acclimate ourselves to do this work and then come home and be the mother or be the wife? Or many of us, Charlotte, are caregivers. I came home, I took care of my mother until she passed. We mm -hmm. have mm -hmm. these various layers of expectation and we have to do this, you know? Yeah, yeah. How do we react? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I think um, the key is making sure that you have set the boundaries and when you step across that threshold of your home, you take off that hat. You know, you may have to go to McDonald's and get a frappe or, you know, get your mind right. Because when you go home, you're going to have another set of responsibilities. Even if it's just you, you still have to do laundry. You got to cook, you got to clean. So when you step across that threshold, you leave work behind, you know, they may require that you answer your phone mm -hmm. and you may have to on some occasions, but on other occasions, you may have to say, I was caught up with some personal situations and I was not able to get to the phone, I do apologize. Or whatever the conversation was, even if it made you mad, don't let it ruin your dinner with your husband. Mm. Just, you know, let it roll off your back, pray about it, breathe, get your mind back on the pleasant thing that's happening in the now and deal with the future in the future. Whatever you got to deal with at work, deal with it when you get back to work the next day. I love that. And if we make it a practice, mm -hmm. then it became, it can become a part of our daily routine, Absolutely. our mindset. Yes. Oh, yes. I remember think I remember I, I was talking to someone yesterday and I come from an era where it's grind, 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 mm -hmm. uh, accomplish, 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 climb, mm -hmm. climb, climb. And that's who you are. And it's so hard to turn that off, that even when it's, you know that the mindset now includes all of me and that's a part of who I am, it's still hard to, to do that. And, but the comfort comes in knowing that I matter. And that's if right. I don't adopt this mindset, I'm not gonna be any good to anybody. Right. So, right. Wow. I love yeah. that you that you help guide women to take off the layers and put them in their proper position so that we can live, we right. can enjoy life. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. You have to walk fully in your truth and fully in all of you. And I like to say that you build on your strengths, you know your strengths and you use your strengths and you build on your weaknesses, but also understand that weaknesses are not a life sentence. Wow. You didn't used to know how to walk. Well. 
You can walk now. That was a weakness. Oh, I can't walk. I'm a human being and I can't walk. I got two legs, don't know what to do with them. But you're walking now. You know, you still not be able to talk. So things can be learned. Things can be improved. And so don't think that all of your weaknesses, you know, I'm not, I'm never going to know the theory, the relativity or whatever. I'm not going to ever know that. I, Einstein's theory of relativity. I ain't gonna never know that because I'm not interested in knowing it. I don't want to learn it. But there are things that we are as evolving human beings, we can learn and we can improve upon and we can evolve and and do. Yes. And you know, as as men and women of God, we can do anything. Mm, so we just have to go ahead and step out there and learn it and do it and mess up and keep on trying. Yeah, yeah. As somebody, I, I had a conversation with someone, I'm always having these conversations, but she said, do it scared and do yes. it, build it as you go along. You yep. learn a little bit of this, you learn a little bit of that, bring it back. You can have more ingredients for the cake, but don't right. just sit on it and say, I can't do this. I can't implement this because I'm, I don't have my PhD in it. I don't right. have my doctorate. I'm like you, there's some things, I'm not going to put good money towards so that I can learn it. Now, if right. you're talking about podcasting, if you're talking about communication, I'm your girl. I'm right, right. there. <laughs> but even, I mean, you come from a clinical therapist background. Right. And I would have gone through therapy. It's very valuable. But am I going to try to put that hat on and try right. to teach it? Right. No. Right. I'm going to call people like you, have conversations with people like you, connect. So I want women to end this reinvention process that we are all in. Don't put it on your shoulders to know everything right. and say, right. I'm a phony if I'm saying I'm this and I'm that and I don't know it all. Charlotte, speak to this thing of building as you go. Speak to that because I want people to understand that's it's currency. That's the way to do it. Oh, absolutely. I have heard for the past few weeks, a little phrase that is something to the effect of um, do it. Doing doesn't have to be perfect, just do it. And that really, really resonated with me because it's so important to just, again, not be, you know, starting off, you may wobble, you may not be able to walk sure-footed in it, but just start it, start by starting and understand that you, and don't compare yourself to other people. Ooh. That's key. Yes. That's key. Because someone who has an, a PhD and has been doing it will be able to run circles around you in doing it. But if you're just starting out, then you give yourself rewards for every rung higher that you go. As you continue to perfect in that area, then you reward yourself and say, yay, I did this. No matter how small it is, it's an achievement. And you gotta be happy about that. It's like, I'm learning, I'm learning another language and I may have accidentally cussed somebody out in French, <laughs> but they understood that I didn't understand, you know, this is not what I would happen, but, <laughs> but I'm just giving an example. You know, yeah. they, people that speak the language understand that you don't know it. And, you know, they laugh with you and then you learn to not use that language anymore. So, you know, it's just a matter of trial and error and it's okay. I don't know why we got to this place in life where we have to pretend we got this brand and mm -hmm. I don't want my brand to be, girl, look, just be who you are. You can't be, no, and nobody else can no. be you. And yes. you can't be nobody but who you are. And that's yeah. fine. It's okay. And if you are 50, 40, 50, 60 years old, own it. I yes. saw where I think it was, I don't know, there's some singer and I can't remember her name. I just see the face and I saw the, the little blurb. She's in her high seventies and she was on the arm of a 47 year old. Now, yeah. if you can pull that off, okay. But right. one thing about it is that she was owning her age and That's she right. was doing what she wanted to do, right. what she was comfortable with. And I think, that's the part of living this transformational life that you breathe Absolutely. into your clients. I think that that's all a part of it. Absolutely. Learn as you go, accept those failures. It's okay because they're really not failures. They are building blocks. Yes. Do what God tells you to do. Don't compare yourself. Girl, I'm just summing it all up because you, you wrote a book right here. This is your Absolutely. next book right here. This conversation. So many people need to yes. hear this. Yes. They really do. 
Yes. They're stuck. Yes. Just stuck. And they're unhappy and been unhappy for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking about it yesterday and I was just like, you know, one of one of my missions is to help people to rediscover their peace, power, and happiness. And I was thinking about it the other day and I said, you know what? We weren't born unhappy. No. We didn't come out of the womb like, oh Lord, is that lady going, that lady, I don't even know, you know, you don't even know if it's a lady or what it is. Is that thing going to bring me something to eat? <laughs> you know, am I going to ever get out of this crib? I mean, you, you discover things, you're excited, you're learning, you're evolving. Where did you get to this place where you were unhappy? If you have the power of God inside of you and you've received that power, how did you become powerless and unable to do exploits? How did that happen? Oh my. Life happens and knocks us around, but we can get back up. We're resilient because of the power of, from our lessons, from those building blocks, from those failures, from the wins, from the achievements. It's yes. all a culminating part of our lives that makes us who we are. And like Margo said, and own it, own all of who you are. Yeah. You know, I can't find, couldn't find my wig today. So I did something else. I mean, you know, you own whatever that is and walk in it and be proud of it. Yes. It's all you and yes. it's all okay. And you take you wherever you go. Yes. Oh my goodness. I'm loving it. I have to clap. I have to love everything that you're saying because I, I mean, I'm, I've been right there and I'm there right now. Mm -hmm. When you say the thing, getting back to this thing of owning it, I find that it's easy. You say, you know, you can't find your wig. You can't find your favorite dress or, or it, I forgot it's in the cleaners or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I find that when I purchase clothing, there's a certain brand, certain line that I love, and I'm hunting around. I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I love the texture. I love the way it makes me feel. I make that purchase. I'm not out trying to see what everybody else is wearing. This line is me. Mm -hmm. and, and when you follow what's you, whatever comes up, then you're ready. There's a certain right. kind of jewelry that I like, you know? Yes. Some yes. people say, girl, I ain't never gonna wear no paparazzi. Well, I have girlfriends that sell paparazzi. And when I mix it in with my good stuff, I don't care. I feel right. like I'm empowering somebody. Right. If I'm comfortable with it, if I'm good with it, what do I care what somebody else thinks exactly. or says? You exactly. gotta be get like that, you know? Right, right, right. Because people's opinions are their, their opinions. It's just yeah. that. What matters is what you think about you. Yeah. And yes. once you embrace all of who you are, the good, the bad, and the ugly, then other people will embrace you and they will be drawn to you because they'll see that power and they'll see that confidence and they'll say, she doesn't care what people think. And you don't. Yeah. 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 You take sound counsel, but you can't, you can't be tossed about by every wind of doctrine, every right. thought, every bad tweet, uh, every down on your uh, YouTube channel. You can't be thrown by that, you know? Right, right. I'm right. just wondering, Charlotte, when it comes to, because you come from a clinical therapy background, you did that for many, many years. Looking back at the pandemic and what women have faced are we, are you finding that more and more women are ready to reinvent themselves? They're coming to you because I need to make a change, but I just don't know how to. Uh, yeah. Everything's topsy-turvy. I need to be an entrepreneur because they let me go and I don't know when I'm going to come back. I, right. Maybe never. How do I make this career change? Are you finding a lot of that going on? Yes. Yeah. People are really put in a position right now where they don't have a choice but to reinvent themselves and make those changes. And yeah. so, you know, not really knowing what to do or how to do it or how to even get started, you know, they need just some extra help and some guidance on how to do those things. And it's like Margot said earlier, it is okay to ask for help. It's okay. 
receive it, ask for it and get it any way that you have to by way of therapy, or I'd like to draw attention to a book that you have out because I know we hear a lot about anxiety. Mm -hmm. uh, we hear a lot about depression. These, these things were prevalent before the pandemic. Yes. And now, now it's compounded. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And I've been through that depression thing. It is a woo. Yes, it is. So what yes, you it did, is. you can put out a book, Disease, 30 Day, 30 day um, Guide to Fight Depression. And it's yes. not a how-to book or that type of thing. I don't think, right. and, and help me if I'm, if I'm wrong, but it is a guide concerning that disease right. and how you can, in 30 days, feel better. You're not saying yes. you're going to be cured, but you're right. going to feel better. I think right. a lot of people right. need that light Absolutely. at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. So what do yeah. you say about that? Yeah, it, I wanted it to be, you know, I didn't want to have day one do this, day two do that, even though it does say 30 day guide, 30 day guide to comfort de de depression and anxiety. And I didn't want it to be day by because you might need day five on day three. Yeah. So just read the whole thing. And if you implement these tools into your routine, then you will begin to see changes and you may, you know, be cured from anxiety and depression. I'm not saying guaranteed, but I'm just saying if you implement these tools, you will definitely see changes and you will be comforted by doing some of the things that I have in the book. I tell you, I can testify to the power of having access to tools because when I was going through my thing and the, the depression just had me in deep grips because of, of an incident that happened to me, then I remember, I remember vividly, she said, write everything down. And I, I did that. I put it on a pink piece of paper, write everything down and make it a ceremony. And I chose to toss it into the ocean. I'm in Southern California. I went to Long Beach. I tossed everything that bothered me, everything I wanted to say goodbye to. I mm -hmm. tossed that into the ocean and it was pink because I wanted to make sure that the tide would take it out. It would clear the rocks and I'd never see it again. Do you know it did not come back to me? And I knew, bye-bye. It was over. It was over. Right. It was over. And you released it at that point. Yes. And it's so important to release past trauma, but you have to do it when you can do it. You yes. don't just, you know, say, I want it to be over and then think it's just magically going to go away. You do absolutely have ready. to be ready. Yeah. Right. Right. And that's exactly what I did. I was ready after almost a year of consultation, a year of therapy. That's when I was, I was able to do it. And you know what, Charlotte, I have followed that practice one other time and about to do it again because I have discovered something by working with Womel. I discovered something about me, a blockage that I had, and it's time to say bye-bye. Yes. Girl, you got more power than you know. Yes, you have you, you you have reached a place in your life you didn't think you could reach. And as Charlotte says, it's time to celebrate, say bye bye yes. to all of that other, yes. and come on, come yes. on next. Yes. So Long Beach, I'm coming to you on Sunday. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I have a very similar exercise that I've had clients to do called the blotting exercise. You write it all down. And as you are able to release those things, you may not be able to do it all at once, mm -hmm. but I can release the trauma of this. I can release that. Um, and once you do let it go, you blot it out with a black Sharpie or black um, marker. Mm -hmm. And once <clears throat> everything is black, then you burn it. So very similar concept burn it and it, it's over with, that's done. You've forgiven that person for you. You've forgiven yourself and you've released that situation. It's over, it's done. You feel it leaving you, mm -hmm. you feel it. When you're ready, you you, you feel the bye-bye. Yes. It's parting from you. It's almost, it's very spiritual. I yes. think because it's spirit, spirits that bring, this is just my idea, spirits that bring these things and feed off of these things. And when it's time to release them, everything says, 
is the departure is is very noticeable. Yes. Yes. Didn't mean to get into that, but I just had, you know, no shame to the game. I, I tell people where I've been. And if my story can help someone, uh oh, then absolutely. more power to it. I absolutely. went through it to help somebody. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> you know? Absolutely. That's right. So this conversation is with transformational life coach Charlotte Terrell. She is one of the 25 powerful women that Womel magazine is honoring all of the month of March. Beautiful lady, beautiful lady, was on a panel discussion just out of the blue, didn't know me from anybody. I think it was a couple of years ago. It was that, yep. We joined forces and talked about in a panel discussion, I am enough. And do yes. you know, Charlotte, when I play that, repurpose it because I know that women need to be right there. I am enough is very popular and we get new likes and more comments. And I'm looking at the time and I'm, I really respect your time. What do you say about this thing of I am enough at the end of the day for all of the women that you help? I can't believe it's already our time. <laughs> Oh, I know. <laughs> We've talked about some very weighty, meaty things. Yeah. And yeah. I like to keep it at 30 minutes because okay. people have to digest and implement. Yes. Implement. Yes. So how but do they implement this thing? I of, am, I I am, am enough. enough. Um, I was just, I just had a conversation with my mom yesterday and I was telling her, I got all of these degrees. When do I have, have enough degrees? You know? It's, it, it's not that I'm trying to be an overachiever, but well, you got to have this degree to get this job and you got to have that degree to have that business and you got to have this certification and you got to have this licensure. You have what you need right now. You are qualified to do whatever God has called you to do right now. So you take your bag of tools and equipment and do the work, do it afraid, do it confidently knowing that whatever you need will be provided for you if you are obedient to your assignment and your purpose. I love that. I love that. What a perfect way to end this conversation with do it scared. Implement it. Get out your tools. We all have tools, and especially when you're 40, 50, 60 years old, mm -hmm. you do have a bag of tricks. You mm -hmm. do have some, uh, you have a skill set that you maybe haven't even tapped into. You have information and knowledge that when you apply it to academia, you are a force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. Just have to do it and know that we are enough. Yes. Oh, yes. do I call you Dr. Charlotte? No, ma'am. <laughs> well, I tell you, I what, don't have that yet, and I might get it, but I don't have it now. <laughs> well, hey, I'm. I already know. I'm never gonna get the PhD. I don't. I understand. You know, I have a PhD in in where I've been, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and that's I'm okay with that. Yes, but yes. In, investing in myself, I am a strong uh, proponent of investing in myself, as you are, and uh, I need for women to know that you don't get to places in life without investing in yourself. And when you know that you are enough, you just build, right. you, you build, you build for yourself. You build for positioning uh, of yourself so that you can be reach the greater good, the be of service to the masses. And right. with all of your degrees and your certificates, now you are able to focus on women, entrepreneurs, the professionals and help them with their work life balance. Yes. Charlotte, well, how do people get in contact with you? With you, They want to be a part of transformational uh, life coaching. I mean, Images Motivational Consultant Agency. How do they find you? I am on LinkedIn, Charlotte Terrell, comma, M-E-D, comma, M-R-C. And Facebook, it's Charlotte E. Terrell or Images Motivational Consultant Agency right there on Facebook. Okay. Um, it's at images MCA. Twitter is at Char the real one. And then simply my email address is Charlotte E. Terrell at gmail.com. Oh, and my website is Charlotte E. Terrell 
Okay. At right. G, I mean, I'm at gmail.com and then Charlotte is the email is the, is the email is the website. You have a deep footprint in uh, print and digitally. That's why Womel chose you to be one of the 25 powerful women to watch I in the it. month of March. So I, I celebrate I you. I am Thank grateful you. for this conversation. Mm -hmm. You are, you have changed lives today, tomorrow, and the notoriety that you'll get all of March will will celebrate your footprint as I love as it. it should be. I love it. So. And we don't do it for that. You know that, Margo. We oh, do no. it because it's the work that we call to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> as Tommy Morgan on LinkedIn said, and I saw his post. Mm, this was last week. He was talking about keeping your head down and just doing the work. Mm -hmm. And so many times that's what we do as entrepreneurs. It's it's a lonely work. It's an isolated, somewhat isolated work. And we do what we do because we have to do what we do. And then you look up and you have all these accomplishments and you've talked to all these people and you don't even realize it. Over the course of a year, all of these wonderful things have happened. You've talked to all these fabulous people, but you just do what you do, what you do, right. and you don't even realize the magnitude of the impact of the work that you do. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, I could I could speak forever. This lady is fabulous, I and and it. the work of helping others transform themselves is it takes more than thirty minutes. But I'm gonna I'm gonna going to say goodbye. We're gonna have another conversation. Yes, we will. We are doing a panel discussion, and um, I will let everyone know, excuse me, we're a panel discussion with each and every one of these 25 women of uh, powerful women. Womel is hosting a live panel discussion, so you'll have a chance to get with Charlotte, ask her questions, a five-person panel discussion coming up towards the end of the month. That information is going to be imparted to everyone. It's free. Just come on. I think it's going to be on LinkedIn, but the de details are forthcoming, and I look forward to that so that you Absolutely. can ask Charlotte uh, questions and make connections with her and take it from that there. So I'm Marga Levet, another fabulous conversation coming to an end as we do honor 25 women, powerful women, Womel Magazine. I'll see you on the next discussion. Bye-bye now.